Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. Escaped prisoners have seized a civilian bus. Converge on Grand Central. Over. Alarmist. Paranoid. Conspiracy. All nasty words people have used to insult and demean me. But now, after years of me trying to warn you all, here we are. Spider-Man has literally brought a plague down upon us. Why do I blame him and not Martin Lee? I do blame Martin Lee. He deserves swift justice, but he's a lunatic terrorist. This is what they do. Whereas Spider-Man claims to be a hero. Yet he obviously knew about the threat and didn't warn us. He either thought he'd handled it, which makes him criminally negligent, or he was in on it, which makes him a terrorist too. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, Hulk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, we'll get the team up. Thought you were a loner. These attempts, Hulk. All of likely speed today. And for these particular means. Freedom! True freedom! No more! <laughs>
on capitalism and smash the state! Just keep talking! Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Sparks, love you, but you do know it's me we got in, right? What were you gonna do if I did Beg him to give up? Yes, sir. That's exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. Octavius promised you, Scorpion! Tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that! What were you going to do? 
could it do if I didn't kill him? Uh, I'll make him to give up! Jaws already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. Rhino stunk. Time for fist to pick. Didn't I hear you took a poetry class in the rap? Like a therapy thing? <laughs> do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. and more 
listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. That is boring. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of you. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security room's open. Awesome. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room, next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out. And the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire it. But useless button.
Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. The fabulous Osborne boys. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. It's the combat prototype from the schematic. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, Hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow, haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Harry's room, but it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen.
City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in bello, peace in war. Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Looks like Norman locked up Harry's room. I wonder why. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Norman and Otto. Wow, they look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick?
Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. 5x5 five five control, area clear. Partial visual. Moving to confirm. Okay. July 18. Bingo. Super. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Norman Osborne, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. 
Looks like a map of the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. And Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. Nope, that's just disabled. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Do Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been commercial build. Wow. So many Oscorps going all in on the Bravo and this good old Alpha team. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable pre- None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it! Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that- I knew it! Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Five by five, Control. Area clear. Hey! Control, 
Hostile, I've got an intruder. to clear that balcony. You're amazing. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. Thank you. 